Well, good morning, YouTube Pipe community. Uh, this is Spurgeon sitting here, um, joining you from my church office on a Monday morning, which I haven't been spending as much time here, uh, just for the sake of contamination. Um, I usually have been working for my church or my home office the past several weeks, and only come here occasionally for grabbing books, uh, doing some work here, um, and then on live streaming my message on Sunday mornings. Uh, on on Facebook, so uh, I did come here to, to get some things done, and I want to present a video for you newer pipe smokers. Now, before we get into the meat of the video, I did want to get done some housekeeping, and mainly letting you know kind of my schedule of uh, uploading YouTube videos. I plan to do about three a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is going to be the typical schedule, and probably Wednesdays will be mostly a tobacco review day, um, and just to kind of give one one a week so I actually had one recorded yesterday and it'll be uploaded Wednesday so just be ready for that looking forward to that review so for you newer guys you newer either pipe smokers or those of you interested in pipe smoking um, YouTube's a great resource there's a lot of great YouTube uh, videos out there and guys who have recorded some awesome uh, beginner YouTube videos and so I encourage you to seek some of those out I want to let you know one that was really helpful for me, uh, Mutton Chop Piper. Look that guy up. Um, I haven't seen him post in a while, but he has some really excellent beginner YouTube videos. And so check them out, him out if you're uh, new to the pipe smoking. But if you've noticed, it can be overwhelming with how many pipe tobacco choices there are. There's thousands of them. And, and when you're new to it, you, you see these guys mention things like Penzance. Uh, or Old Dark Fire Kentucky, or Capstan, um, and, and it can be overwhelming with how many choices there are, and you're not sure where to go, and you think, well, those are the choices I need to go after, because everyone's talking about them, and that's probably not the case, and most of us who, or those who are more mature in pipe smoking, or been around it more, or, uh, um, are not novices anymore, know that that's not the case, as you could probably get turned off by pipe smoking by smoking those blends. So I wanted to take time to mention three blends for you tobacco smoke, newer uh, pipe tobacco smokers, or maybe you who are getting into it or interested in it. Um, I want to encourage you not just go after the awesome, most well-known ones. It, it might be a mistake. Um, if, if it's a, a really stout English, um, if it's a really pure Virginia, or really those aromatics that sound delicious, those all three might be mistakes, which might sound weird to say, but they could be for a newer pipe smoker. As you're, you, there, there's a rhythm, there is a, a science, an art to pipe smoking. Um, it's it's not as just as easy as throwing some pipe and uh, tobacco into a pipe and just starting the the smoke on it. Um, you can burn your mouth um, or get tongue bites, as you might have been. Uh, you might have listened to or read about, and, and I don't want you to get into that mess. So, I have three uh, tobacco blends I want to present you to this morning, and there's probably hundreds more that can be added to this list. But here's just three, and maybe uh, in a in a little while longer, I'll I'll throw another three out for you. So the first one is Autumn Evening. I have it written there. It looks pretty ugly. Autumn Evening. Autumn Evening is an aromatic. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend a lot of aromatics, as I think you could they're, they're susceptible to, to tongue bite, because they can be really um, wet and goopy, and that can lead to tongue bite, even though they sound delicious. Um, but this is one I think isn't prone to that so much. And I don't like a lot of aromatics myself. But this is one that I could recommend, both for flavor, and autumn eating has a maple-ish uh, flavor to it and it's really good um, and it's not that wet and so this is one that I could recommend as well as additional um, pro to it and that it is you can get it in bulk so when people mention bulk if you're new to pipe tobacco people mention bulk that means you can buy it outside of a tin uh, meaning you can buy just uh, you know they'll, they'll bring it to you in a sack or in a bag if you buy it online um, so you can get it in a tin or, like I did, you can buy 
um, buy it in bulk and you can go to websites like smokingpipes.com or uh, pipe tobacco or tobaccopipes.com or pipecigars.com. I think they all have it. And you can order a couple of ounces and which is cheap uh, doing it that way and see if you like it. So this is one I would recommend. I think you'd like the flavor to it and it would be easy on your palate and on your tongue by smoking it. So uh, Autumn Evening by Cornell and Dill is a good choice for a, an aromatic. Now, non-aromatics, and this is where I find most enjoyment. Uh, this one is Kringle Cake. Now, I want to make a caveat here. Um, I believe this is by Sutliff Tobacco Company. They also make a red crumble cake, and that's what I want to recommend for you. This was a special edition they made for this past Christmas, and I don't think it's any different from the red crumble cake. I've been told that. Now, some of you may can, can correct me on that, but so instead of looking for crumble cake, look for red crumble cake on uh, the websites like Smoking Pipes, uh, Pipes and Cigars, um, red crumble cake. Why I'm recommending that is, though it is a Virginia blend, um, it is fermented and aged and has a, a softer uh, note to it than a harsh, bright Virginia. Um, if you're new to pipe smoking, you can easily puff too hard on a Virginia blend and cause mouth um, uh, tongue bite. And, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Um, this is softer. This is a really excellent um, beginner's blend, but really enjoyable for those who've been around pipe um, smoking for a while. And it has an excellent, naturally sweet flavor. Uh, so this is one I would recommend if you just want something that's not aromatic um, and you want a, a natural flavor, this is sweet. And I would really recommend uh, Red Crumble Cake by Sutliff Tobacco Company. All right? The good, solid one to try. Finally, uh, I love me some English blends. Um, and when I say English blends, if you're not familiar with that terminology, uh, essentially it has Oriental and Latakia uh, leaf in it, along with Virginia's typically. And, and there's some nuances there. Some people say some things aren't English, they're Balkans. We're not going to get into that into this video. Um, so here's one, though that you could really enjoy and it's not going to throw a lot of Latakia at you uh, which is heavily smoky or it's not going to throw a lot of Orientals at you which can be kind of spicy. That is Cornell and Dill's Good Morning. Cornell and Dill's Good Morning. Now I am privy to light English and good uh, and morning blends. They're, they're some of my favorite blends as they go well with coffee and I, I'm not a big, huge Latakia guy normally. I, I'll smoke some heavy blends occasionally, um, like uh, GOP's Quiet Nights, which is fabulous. Um, but but normally I like lighter Englishes. And Good Mornings is not only cheaper, which I don't know if you can buy bulk. I don't think you can, but the tins aren't that expensive, so it's it's fairly cheap. Um, but it's it's also sweet from the natural Virginias and has a nice light smoky flavor from the Latakia and and so if if you're really interested maybe you tried a couple of blends of aromatics or maybe a Virginia and you're running wanting to get into uh, in a beginner English this is a great beginner English it's not gonna throw a lot of Latakia at you not gonna throw a lot of spiciness from Orientals um, and and it, it really brings out the the Virginia Virginia forward um, sweetness and fruitiness from from those leaves. So uh, give those a try. Cornell and Dill, uh, good morning. Sutliff Crumble Cake, Red Crumble Cake, and Cornell and Dill's Autumn Evening. Those are fairly cheap blends, uh, which is important for you newer guys. I don't want you to throw away a lot of money on something you may not want to do. And they're easy on the palate. They're easy on the tongue, and you get some flavor out of them. So give them a try. Um, guys, if you have any other questions about it or you guys who've been around pipe smoking, what are some blends you would recommend for beginners? Um, we need to help them out. The more support we have for them, uh, the more it helps the pipe tobacco industry. If you all have any questions, feel free to, to leave them in the comments and give this video a like if you don't mind. You all have a good day, guys. You all take care.